Hi, this is Alex Aguilar from Eagle Lair Audio, and you're watching the Musician Network. Hi, I'm Alex Aguilar, and I'm here at NAMM 2012. I'm going to tell you about my new company, Eagle Lair Audio, and in particular, a great new product I have called the Halo Overdrive Pedal. And Halo stands for Harmonic Amp-like Overdrive. And the name kind of came about after the product was already out there in beta testing. There's a lot of guys who commented how harmonically complex and rich this pedal is. And the real idea with this pedal is not just to create another overdrive pedal, but moreover, kind of a, a device that will let you get your sound out of any amp. It's interesting when I was thinking of the concept of this, and I was thinking of the word playing the guitar. Like, as guitar players, what do we do when we play? We really interact with the, with the amplifier and a good tube amp in particular. In Spanish, the word play is not the word play, it's the word toca, which means touch. And I thought about that, about how important the touch is to a guitar player. And the really cool amps out there, tube amps in particular, how they react to our picking attack. Because what differentiates me as a player from somebody else, of course, is usually the right hand articulation. If you're holding a chord, that's usually set in stone, right? It's what we do over here. And uh, that kind of got me thinking, I really need to address that as a designer, as an as engineer, and approach that. And that was the design challenge. So I'll go a, bit, a little bit through the pedal and show you what it can do. We're gonna, this is the, the uh, clean sound as a reference point right here. The guitar is a stock uh, custom shop telly. Now we're gonna go into gain one and uh, level one, which is just uh, a little bit of drive. Now I'm gonna pick and vary my picking volume. And then you can see how the thing is responding to my touch if I play really lightly. Versus. Okay. Now we're going to go into gain two, which is the more overdriven one. Now to get a fat sound like that from the tail is a pretty, pretty much of a challenge. I'm going to hit some different harmonics. And the deal is this, you bypass it a second. I'm going to play a chord that's sort of complex, one of these adult chords, right, you know? Now engage it, and I want you to hear each note. Those are the fundamentals, the overtones, and turn the gain on two all the way up. There's all the harmonic overtones. Turn that back. There you go, right there. And even at low volumes, we're at conversational levels here. That's a pretty good interaction with the amp that mimics sort of that amplifier, speaker, and pickup feedback. But I can keep this thing going all day, right? It's pretty impressive. In addition, it's got two little switches. Hit the uh, counters, the, the uh, shape switch first. This is uh, asymmetric clipping. A very complex harmonic structure. All the way to the right, please. That's, that's symmetric clipping, kind of a more even. Good for that, and in the middle is what I call an open setting, and the clipping there is set simply by the threshold of the power supply. So, it's kind of a brilliant sound. A lot of people are really excited about that setting. Give you that real natural open amp sound, and to the right of that we have a switch that uh, you could assign a different uh, another layer of saturation that's pulse gain control. So to the left we have it on both channels. In the middle would be off, and then to the right assigns that additional layer only to one channel. So you could have channel one set up as a basically your rhythm kind of clean sound, and channel two is your overdriven sound. And the thing about it, I want to emphasize again, how it really reacts to the picking. That's kind of what connects me as a player to the device. I don't think of it just as another overdrive pedal. It's a more of a, an amp uh, thing to get your amp connected to you. And I like to use the word connected. I feel organically connected to that. It reacts
reacts to me. I still sound like me. It still sounds like a telly, even though it's super driven. And the harmonics are all there. I can hear each note. And also, if you just play in more of a clean, uh, put it in one, please. If you do that sort of thing, even if you're a really clean player, it takes the top end of the guitar, rounds it off like a tube amp does. And you can also use it as a clean boost by having the uh, shape switch in the middle, using the level control to tweak how much gain you want, just boost the front end of your amp a little bit. Uh, I started in, in uh, MI about 20-something uh, years ago. I was the head designer at Aguilar Amplification that I sold about uh, eight years ago. I sold my interest in that company. Uh, recently, I came, this is my first product with this with this my new company. And Wave Distribution, president of Wave Distribution is a guy named Gil Griffith, who I met in 1989 when he was uh, director of sales at Eventide. I was an engineer there. And uh, we established a friendship and a good relationship. And uh, it was kind of a natural genesis to get our two talents together. So they're, handling sales and distribution for the product uh, all over the world. The next product down the pike uh, in about six months or maybe even closer is a guitar head that's going to incorporate some of the halo character circuitry and some other cool characteristics. So we're going to do a little teasers on that soon. Um, and then a combo amp, that's the, the, uh, the plan for 2012. And in 2013, we're going to start uh, with our bass line. I'm going to get back to designing bass stuff, which I like. I'm a guitar player, as you can tell. I like That's my first love, but I do have a good history and a love for designing bass stuff as well. And that's, that's the, uh, the initial forecast for the next couple of years. Uh, obviously, for more info, we go to our website, eaglelayer.com, and uh, wavedistro.com for sales and uh, pricing information and all that kind of stuff.